I literally turn my dreams into reality. My life was hard, it just had to be. Why me turn my dreams? First, y'all, success starts with a clean environment. We're starting off the year with a dirty environment, a dirty room, a dirty closet. Clean environment equals a clean mind. It literally boosts productivity, reduces stress, and just overall just makes you feel better. First, I started off by taking down all my Christmas decorations. Once you take down your Christmas decorations, your room automatically just looks cleaner. And doing a closet clean out, the best thing to do when starting a new year. Sorting through your shoes, your clothes, accessories, and deciding what to keep, give away, donate. Doing this creates a more organized and functional wardrobe. Like throwing all of that negative energy in the trash. There's people out there that need help and that need clothes and doing this can help somebody else as well too. I started with my dresser and then I went into my closet. I basically just went through it and seen anything that I didn't want or didn't wear anymore and went through my dresser again and went through my closet and just really organized everything. And then in my dresser, it was like a whole bunch of clothes. It wasn't it supposed to be in certain drawers. And I just feel like doing that closet clean out is the most annoying thing and longest process. But it's the best result, in my opinion. I had so much clothes to put up, y'all. I had Christmas gifts to put up, white fox clothes. And then I had this random bag of random clothes just sitting there for a couple days that I had to put up. And I just put up all of my clothes that I had to put up. Hung them up, put them in dressers. Then I started to wash my sheets and my rugs no if you ever buy a rug for your room try to get a washable one because it's so easy to just pop it in the washer pop it in the dryer easiest thing especially white rugs white rugs get dirty so fast y'all while my sheets and my rugs were in the washer i started to clean out under my sink under my sink was really bad i had stuff everywhere i had products in there that was done with like i just need to throw all that stuff away organize all of it and then really just go through it you know then i cleaned my makeup brushes cleaning your makeup brushes prevent the buildup of of bacteria dirt and oils in the bristles clean brushes don't only prevent skin breakouts I feel like my makeup just looks so much better when they're like not built up with all that makeup okay, and the way I clean my makeup brushes if you're wondering I basically just take Dr. Bronner's soap and I just use this little back scrub that I got I don't remember where I got that back scrub y'all you can just get off Amazon and I literally just like just put the soap on there and then clean my brushes and then rinse them and then let them air dry overnight another thing that I did to reset for new year and clean up my environment was also cleaning my car if you have a car most of the time if you're not home you're in your car driving so you know just go take your car to the car wash clean out your car vacuum it out clutter it if you need to clutter it and yeah i took my car to the car wash i'm putting this footage in now so y'all can get a little glimpse of me go to the car wash and stuff but yeah <laughs> Done. Then I completely cleaned up. I've made my bed because all my computer and my sheets were clean. I cleaned my vanity, my dresser, wiped my mirrors down, put my rugs back in my room. I vacuumed and just basically completely cleaned up. And then if you know, you know, the best part after you're done resetting, cleaning your environment, cleaning your room is lighting a candle. Now, I can get into planning my year. 
first i want to talk about change i feel like change is such a positive feature to add to your life adding change to your life is beneficial because it brings new opportunities new experiences and growth and a chance to break out of a routine it can also lead to personal development if y'all couldn't already tell i took my lashes off I'm had no lashes in so long like when i uh was gonna take my lashes off i thought i was gonna be like so insecure and like i thought i was not gonna feel pretty because if you know you know like a lash addiction is bad like it's a point where like you don't even want to go without lashes but actually i feel very pretty like i have no makeup on no mascara like i feel actually pretty i'm on a lash break at the moment girl i got my natural hair out no lashes like Come on. This is your sign to take that last break if you already have it. Next change I adapted to my life was I changed up my social medias. Like my social media profile pictures. IG highlights. Simply just changed up my social media. I feel like it was time for like a new era and everything. Pretty sure y'all already seen it was like. Like y'all probably put on a video and was like who is this? So I changed my name from A.S. Maya to Maya Love. This was something that I had been thought about. Like I knew I was going to eventually change my name from A.S. Maya to Maya Love. Because I feel like A.S. Maya is very. I'm not going to say it's childish. Because it is a little bit i feel like my love just fits me better so i changed as maya to my love which is my name and my middle name and i have that on all my other social media platforms like as maya was only my youtube name i feel like i was just a little too mature for it also by doing this too y'all i'm verified on youtube changing my youtube name better chance for me to get verified on instagram with my youtube name being my love i don't know yet if my check has came back but me changing my name i had to reapply for a check or to get verified again so I mean, that was the only downfall. Bye to an old era, y'all, and say hello to a new era. My name is no longer A.S. Maya. It's no longer going to be A.S. Maya back on a YouTube video. But it's okay, though, because, you know, change is always good in life. And, you know, I'm always developing, getting older. And I feel like A.S. Maya wasn't for me anymore. And my love fits me a lot better. So I feel like people don't talk about this a lot. Without change, I feel like you can go into a burnout. <laughs> It's a very hard thing to acquire because when you're in a burnout, you start to feel like less motivated. You can avoid the thoughts of like boredom, regret, frustration, lack of growth, especially lack of growth too. Because I feel like the more you change, the more you grow. Step out of your comfort zone this year. Like do something new. Try a new hobby. Like just change. You just need some kind of change. So now that you have added change into your life, now we can start goal setting. First step is to reflect on the past. Take a look back at the achievements and the challenges and just what you accomplished last year. For example, last year I bought my first car. Me and my mom went on our first girls trip out of the country. I made good grades. I improved my editing skills and my YouTube skills. I grew on YouTube. I grew as a person and many, many, many more. Think about like what would you like? What did you do well? What would you like to improve on? Doing this just really just sets you up for like your career. Curtain goals. Looking back at what you did and what you accomplished in the new year or what you feel like you should work on really helps you to write down your goals more. A lot of the times you might have these like very, very, very out of the world goals. You might say like, oh, I'm about to be a billionaire this year. Girl, if you feel like you're going to be a billionaire this year, then think that. I'm not saying don't think out of the box, but you still want to be realistic with your goals and be specific as well too. Prioritize and like break down your goals. Identify like your top goals, your top priorities and break them down into like smaller steps. I want to hit 500k this year. I'm going to say, okay, bye. By July, I'm going to hit 400K. Then I'm going to hit 500K by the end of the year. So just break it down and be reasonable about it. This not only like helps you make your goals more achievable, but also helps you to stay focused. And it's not like necessarily like a deadline because you know goals and, and certain things in life don't always have to have a deadline. It's just like break it down. Start to think how you're going to achieve this goal instead of just writing them down and automatically think you're going to achieve the goal. Like automatically think you're going to achieve the goal. Always have that mindset, but you still need to think about, okay, how am I going to make this goal reality? Okay, y'all. So another like really, really big thing I feel like with achieving goals and just life in general, silence is a really, really big thing, y'all. You should not tell everybody y'all goals, everybody what y'all got going on because not telling everybody what you got going on or what you're about to achieve or what you're about to do in life protects your energy and protects your vision and it helps you focus on that as well it's always good to just keep quiet be silent and don't tell everybody what you got going on it's always the ones that talk the most 
but accomplished the least. Life is unpredictable and being open and honest about your goals helps a lot to achieve them. Type your goals out in your notes or whatever, but most importantly, you want to write down your goals because writing down your goals helps to visualize your goals more, organize them, track progress as well. When you write down your goals, you can see like the progress in like a couple months or like, you know, next year you look back and be like, okay, bet like I achieved this. I Tell myself at 14, 15, like, you know, I'm gonna be a millionaire. Like, I was for hours, like, if I had money and shit. Like, it's crazy, cause, like, now it's like, that's my life. Shit, like, yeah, and I also feel that things that I repetitively think about or say, I'm able to manifest. To, like, a song that I did last year, and I'll be like, I'm in New York in the, in the Rolls Royce. And then it'll be like two years later, I still have a song. But I'm really in a Rolls Royce in New York. Running your dreams and reality has a lot to do with manifestation. It's so crazy because like I was you watching videos like this video right now a couple years ago. And I never doubted it. But I didn't think that it was like necessarily true. And when I tell y'all it is 100% true. Manifestation is not only about like wishful thinking and wishing that you're going to achieve this or wishing that you're going to get this. It's not about wishing. It's about visualizing that you already have like you need to actually visualize your goal as if they already happened like for example last year before i bought my car every time i would get into any car even if i wasn't driving every single time i would get into a car i would visualize me getting into my bins i would visualize the lights in my car i would visualize everything as if i already have it you just need to picture the success and the feelings that you're going to have technically you do already have it just not now it's going to be in the future the next thing is cultivating the right mindset when you have the right mindset i say this so much because having the right mindset in life it really affects you as a person it's literally the foundation of achieving any Thing in life your mindset literally shapes your reality when you think positive more positive things come your way if you're always thinking negative and have a negative mind even if you're going through something you gotta always think like i'm gonna get over this you can't always think about the bad in life you gotta think about the good in life because when you always think about the bad in life nothing but bad is gonna keep on coming because all you're thinking about is bad you're thinking like oh my life is not this my life is not that you gotta think about what you got now and you gotta be thankful for what you have now because if you're not thankful for what you have now, God is not going to bless you with the stuff that you do want. Focus on solutions rather than problems. Something went wrong, don't focus on the problem. Focus on how you're going to solve it. You'll find yourself overcoming challenges more in life when you focus on the solution rather than the problem. Speaking stuff into existence is a big thing because when you speak stuff into existence and you envision you already having what you're trying to achieve and what you're trying to get, your mind will literally automatically shift and starts to work on achieving those things you got to be patient too because if you're not patient and you're always worrying you're always trying to hurry up and achieve it rather than work on achieving it then you're not going to achieve it don't focus on not having it focus on already having it if you focus on not having it you're not going to have it because your mind is thinking oh i don't have this i'm never going to get this so in all just have the right mindset think positive and just know that you already have it. your dreams will literally come to reality so now we can start on making our vision boards. No matter if it's digital or physical, I say everybody needs to make a vision board. A vision board has a lot to do with the things that I've achieved. Literally, this was my 2020 vision board and I achieved about half this vision board and I'm still achieving the stuff on this vision board. When you look at the things that you want to accomplish every day, you get inspired. I made an iPad wallpaper vision board, my phone vision board, and my laptop vision board. So for my physical vision board, I basically just took pictures off Pinterest or like any pictures that I inspired me or like that I want to achieve if I see something on TikTok if I seen a house that I feel like my family and I are gonna move into if I seen something on Instagram or just anything and even quotes as well and y'all photoshop some of the pictures some of the photoshops that I did I did I took a screenshot of my subscribers and I photoshopped 500k subscribers I say photoshop some of these pictures girl because when you photoshop them your mind already thinks that you have it you know the way I did like I print out my pictures and stuff I basically just download all of them say that to my camera roll put them in the album and then I went on Walgreens I went on the app and then I literally just downloaded them all up there I literally just printed it all through there you didn't have to pay right away like you pay when you get to Walgreens and they print it out very very fast so if you guys have Walgreens near you I say definitely just go with Walgreens it's the easiest so my pictures are printed out so let's go ahead and go grab these pictures so we can start on my physical vision board come 
back to sex, wake me and your child And then won't play today, make me wonder who you might be playing with Makes me wonder who you think you're playing with I'm just a myself Okay, y'all, so I'm back home. Since I didn't really, like, you know, talk about my goals and stuff, I want to just talk about a little bit of my goals that y'all can know because y'all don't need to know everything. So I just want to talk some of my goals while I do my hair. I don't know what um, hairstyle I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to wear my hair down again. It's going to take, like, years to dry, but, you know, at least it'll get a little wet effect or something. <sighs> I need to go to the gym. Shit, okay. So, um, I basically just wet it. Honestly, I already had all my product in there, but I need to refresh it. It's not all the way wet back here because I need my hair like soaking wet for it to come out how I like it. A couple things I want to talk about. First, I want to talk about YouTube, like my goals for YouTube. Excuse my dogs. One YouTube goal, of course, I want to hit 500K, but I also want to work on making my videos longer videos. Personally, I like long videos, but I don't like long videos when they're cut it and like they're very um, edited, I would say. But I know a lot of y'all like videos that aren't like unedited and stuff like that. It just all depends like what kind of video it is. But I want all my videos to at least be over 25 minutes. I'm going to work on putting out some like 30 minute vlogs and um, hour long vlogs. And I also want to work on posting once a week. I definitely can post two times a week, but just because of the thing I'm working on, that's gonna take a lot of my time but once that's I can't say that <laughs> I can't say that once that's um you know out in the world and stuff then I'm gonna start posting like two times a week especially once my cheer season is over around April March like the end of March is honestly when I'm like completely done with cheer and when I'm done with cheer y'all I'm basically done with school because like it's just crazy but yeah that's a goal for YouTube I definitely want to work on longer videos for y'all and another goal of mine for school is basically just graduate y'all i already know i'm going to georgia state university so i already applied and everything and i'm i'm gonna get in it's like it's like the acceptance rate is so easy y'all like it's no like oh my gosh am i gonna get in no baby i'm getting in but yeah so school is school i already know what college i'm going to i just can't wait to just go ahead and graduate and get this over with because i feel like i have so many things that i could really be putting my time into other than school because like school honestly y'all uh, for me i don't need school i'm really only going to school especially like things that i want to um do in life definitely has nothing to do with school but i'm only going just because i feel like i owe that to myself to at least try college out and you know if i don't like it i gonna just do online college and, and as y'all see y'all probably could tell that by this video how my editing has improved my i feel like my editing like i love to edit my editing literally gets better every video i swear y'all and this video literally just topped it off i just wanted to go into the new year really improved and i just i just love i love the way i edit this video i didn't want to do more videos like this like more inspirational kind of videos so let me know how y'all like this video so far or it's technically not my first video of the new year but we're just gonna say it's my first video of the new year because the last video was vlogmas so yeah first video of the new year i'm just putting in this meal coil custard just to refresh my curls a little bit another one of my goals i want to start waking up early i want to become a morning person because <laughs> y'all want to know what time i woke up today i woke up today at like four o'clock y'all it's it's bad it's bad and it's like honestly i get so much stuff done even me waking up that late because i was i stay up late and i get my shit done i want to have a morning routine and be a morning person that's something i really want to like work on i want to start going to the gym a lot more especially because i'm gonna be done with cheer completely for the rest of my life and that means i can get back in the gym because i love going to the gym i love working out I just love being active. I know it might not seem like it, but I'm actually very athletic. And like, if I didn't do like cheer and stuff, I would definitely do like a lot more sports and take them serious. I honestly want to start like waking up early and like going to the gym before school on my A days because on my A days, I don't go to school until like 12 o'clock. So like, I can really like, you know, make a whole routine of me going to the gym. So stay tuned for like a productive morning routine because I really want to incorporate me going to the gym in my morning routine and everything. And yeah, these are the curls, real cute, real cute. So I'm going to see y'all when, um, 
my hair is like dry and everything i'm gonna see y'all when i start to do my vision board i just want to talk to y'all about some of my goals this year so hopefully y'all enjoying this video so far i love the way i edited it like, i'm just so proud of myself and yeah so i will see y'all when i'm about to do my little vision board it's actually the next day i ended up not doing them last night because i just didn't feel good my stomach was hurting we did my hair my hair um in a bun it was in a ponytail but i kind of like the bun better i don't know so me and my mom we're about to um, make them i just want to show y'all what we have so this is what we're gonna make them on these show you how big this is this is huge i didn't realize how big it was but yeah we're gonna make it on this and this is a 24 by 36 depending on how my vision board comes out like if it comes out pretty looking I'm gonna hang it up in my room. I just. This would probably be cute, but I feel that's just too much. I was actually, y'all, I was gonna print out all the photos in black and white, but I don't know. I just I just feel like that wasn't like a good idea. So, not because it wasn't gonna look good, because it was gonna look good, but just because I feel like it's not gonna the same effect as the vision board. And just because I wanted to make it look good don't mean nothing. So, probably too big. You know what, y'all? It just all depends on how this vision board comes out. I figured out i'm gonna lay all the photos on there first and then like see how i want to do it this is how the pictures turn out i might do it vertical because i feel like it'll look cute right here yeah i feel like it'll look cute right here so i'm gonna do it vertical this is i think like 40 photos this is around like 40 photos and i printed it out like 10 more just because i needed some more we also got glue sticks to glue them on the Mod Podge is actually downstairs because I don't know if we're going to Mod Podge it up here. We might Mod Podge it downstairs. Good, that makes a mess. But, and then we got some brushes to do the little Mod Podge. And then for the Mod Podge, we got gloss. Look how much pictures I'm going to print out. Shit. She is not playing because shit. That's a lot of pictures. So, let me put her pictures back. Dang, that's not even all of them. There's more in here. Pictures look so cute. I did a middle edge. I never do middle edge, but I'm going to start doing one because I figured out how to do it. Make my head look correctly by doing that so yeah how like this oh no it didn't print out right it didn't print out right y'all it's fine <clears throat> i just know all of this is gonna come true i just know i just don't know i just know it's gonna be a good year y'all it's gonna be a great amazing year but yeah i'm gonna see y'all when we're about to start so you guys were wondering where this um little two-piece set is from it's from white fox booty use my code for money off in your order i feel like if i ever just have like um like a real cute basic fit or like a two-piece set it's from white fox so yeah look how cute this is my mom made me some matcha because i don't know how to make that shit for shit so cute and pretty i took a picture of it i can never get a good picture of it like it looks so ugly on camera never mind wait in the cut with my twin we be vibing i'm not your case so pj pj i know right mine are all laid out use that caramel uh cold foam mm -hmm. yeah i tried it it's good i got Laser hair surgery. I know. It's so crazy because y'all know how on my vision board I had put a laser hair surgery. I mean laser hair removal. Like a picture of a girl getting laser hair removal because I wanted to start my little laser hair journey and stuff. And I was gonna start it with this one company because me and mom we already knew what company was gonna go with and everything. Tell me why the second I put that up and the second we sat down, I got an email from the company asking them to partner with me. Like, I just feel like that's just so cool. Like, I already put my vision board up and it's already working. And it's literally been like 30 minutes since I just ended this video off, which is crazy, first of all. And the reason why I changed is because I'm finna go on my run. New Year, new me. I'm running now. But yeah, like, I just feel like that's so crazy. And I just feel like, period. See, this shit really works, y'all. I literally just put that shit up and it's already working. Shit, next thing you know, we about to move into our new house, period. But yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all that, which is so crazy. Oh, and I'm finna show y'all the, uh, the email too. Well, I'll just put it right here. But I just thought that's just so crazy. I don't know. I just thought that's so crazy. But yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all that. But yeah, hope y'all enjoy the video. Wait, isn't it? It's surgery. Is that a surgery? Crazy hair removal. Oh, never mind. You see our pool? One of our pools. One of our pools, period. <laughs> Why I got 
got the same one. Mm -hmm. Wait, why is this actually like perfect? Like literally. It really is. Like it measured perfectly. Oh, this is so cute. Mine's oh my gosh, too. I just, I'm not even doing it this way. I'm doing it the other way. Oh, and I got to start with Oh, dang. <laughs> so far y'all so it actually worked out really perfectly because the pictures was like the same size as like the canvas so now i'm going to glue these on and then like i have i have like these quotes as well too oh and then i have this too i'm gonna just put them like scattered around so my my subscribers didn't print out right and then this is gonna be the 20 24 put it right there right there so I'm going to glue these on, and then I'm going to come back when these are glued on. Okay, hey, y'all, I'm done gluing them down. Now I'm about to go ahead and just kind of scatter these coats around. Okay, all done. Now I'm about to mod podge it. I have the um, gloss one okay yeah so i'm not gonna use my podge because it's gonna take like 30 minutes to dry or no it said two hours i think and plus i don't think i need it because it's already like shiny and cute so about to hang it up this and sucks. yeah thank you I lost it. 2024 vision board okay okay i love it oh it looks so cute it does yeah it's very um super cute Hang it up. Get my little huh. thumbtacks out, guys. <laughs> Anything else for you? Nah, I got this. I'm a professional picture hanger upper. Professional picture hanger upper. <laughs> oh, it's three of you. Because one, two, three. Yeah. yeah. You sure you don't need help? Probably. No, I'm good. These kids are so big. They're long. I guess perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks good. Yep, 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 yep. Period, 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 period. Vision boards are done, and this video is over. Huh? Well, we're just gonna add like one. <laughs> Literally, you could make like three vision boards of all these photos. If y'all wanna see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. Happy New Year, happy 2024, and comment down below with some videos y'all wanna see from me this year, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.